Hello everyone, my name is Shekhar Pan, and in this video, we are going to see pull-out test, and this is the third type of non-destructive test of concrete. We have seen what is rebound hammer test. We have seen ultrasonic pulse velocity test, and in this video, we are going to see pull-out test. So the pull-out test measures. the force which is required to pull out the specific shape or geometry rod whose enlarged end has been cast into the concrete see simply in this test what we do we first insert a specific shape rod or specific geometry rod and that rod will have enlarged end so first what we will do we will insert that rod rod into the concrete and then we will measure how much force is required to pull out that rod that is simple so pull out test will measure the force which is required to pull out that rod and see the stronger the concrete more force will be required to pull out obviously if the concrete is strong then more force will be required to remove that rod from the concrete so remember stronger the concrete more force will be required and by measuring the pull out force of expanded disc this disc we can determine the compressive strength of concrete then we can determine it how much force is required to pull out from that we can determine the compressive strength of concrete and see the fundamental principle behind this test is the test equipment is designed to a specific geometry means this rod will have some specific shape which has to be inserted into the concrete and it will produce pull out forces what we will do we will first insert the specific shaped rod into that concrete and which will produce pull out force that closely relate to the compressive strength of concrete simply first we will insert the pull out rod and that rod will have some specific shape it will have enlarged end and we will measure how much pull out force is required to remove that rod and we will correlate this with the compressive strength of concrete so that is the fundamental principle behind this pull out test and see depending upon the placement of disc or ring into the concrete we divide the pull out test into two categories how the disc is getting placed into that concrete so depending upon that we will divide the this test so for the first test is lok test so what is lok test it is nothing but a danish word for the punch out test in the for the punch out test there is a word in danish language and that that is nothing but lok test lok test and second one is kapo kapo test we can say it so kapo test is nothing but cut and pull out test so let's see them one by one first we will see lok test see the lok test system is used to obtain reliable estimate of in place strength of concrete in newly cast structure whenever new constructed structure is casted and we have to find out in place or on site strength of that particular structure so we will use lok test system and in this system a steel disc what we will use we will use a steel disc and it will be pulled centrally against the counter pressure ring ring bearing on the surface simply what we will do we will first insert the steel disc into that concrete we will pull out that uh, steel disc ring uh, over the ring bearing pressure on the surface and we will measure how much force is required to pull out that so we will get some force f which is required to pull out the insert is measured what we will do in lok test we will first insert the steel disc then it will be pulled centrally against the counter pressuring bearing on the surface and it will require some force to pull out that so we will measure the pull out force f so whenever you are pulling that disc so there will be some pressure between the disc and the counter pressure ring as you are pulling out it with some force so obviously there will be some pressure and this that pressure will be subjected to compressive load remember this there will be some pressure between the disc and the counter pressure ring and that pressure will be a compressive load therefore the pull out force will be correlated with the compressive strength so this is the lok test now let's see what is kapo test cut and pull out test in cut and pull out test this test will permit performing the pull out test on existing structures without the need of pre installed inserts 
as we have seen in the allocate test we are installing some so in kapo test what we will do we will not need any pre-installed inserts we will directly measure the pull out test or pull out force which is required to remove that particular rod or particular disc so capo test will provide a pull out test system similar to allocate system for the accurate estimate of compressive strain it is similar to that principle then so what we will do in capo test the surface test location is ground using the tool first what we will do we will ground the surface location by a tool and that tool will be nothing but a demonstrated core bit we will drill it is something like a drilling so we will first make a hole by a tool and that tool is demonstrated core bit and a hole will be made and that hole is 18.4 mm hole and which is perpendicular to the surface what we will do first we will make the hole by a grounding tool and that tool will be nothing but diamond studded core bit so we will first make the hole then a slot is routed a slot will be inserted or routed into the hole and that hole will have a diameter of 25 mm and it will also have a depth of 25 mm so we will make a slot and split ring is expanded into the slot what we will do we will expand a split ring a ring will be inserted into that slot and it will be pulled out with a pull out machine what we will do we will then pull out that split ring with the pull out machine and that is nothing but the pull pull force which is required to which is that effort or pull out force which is required to remove that particular slot or particular ring then the concrete in between the expanded ring and the counter pressure ring will obviously will become uh, subjected to compression as we have seen in so as similar to the allocate test what we will happen what will happen the concrete which is in between expanded ring and the counter pressure ring will be in compression and hence ultimate pull out force f is directly related again with the compressive strain see it, it looks difficult but it is not simply what we are doing in both the tests we are inserting something maybe rod maybe disc and we are expanding it and we are we, we are measuring how much force is required to remove that or how much force is required to pull out that so it is very simple we are inserting some pre-installed some rods maybe disc or we are expanding it into that hole and we are measuring how much force is required to remove that from the concrete so it is simple so this was the video about pull out test and this is nothing but a type of non-destructive test of concrete thank you